Um, so I'm Brian, uh, originated in South Africa, but currently living in the UK. Um, yeah, and just finished our uh, May flotilla for 2024, and it's been awesome. Um, so this is our first flotilla, so expectations of it, you know, didn't really know what we were going to get. So what you go and do, you go and Google yourself to death and try and look at other flotillas. So the expectation was that we would sail around with a number of boats, not feel alone, but kind of be left to your own devices, which was okay. This is our first time really on a boat. Um, so that was pretty daunting. And what we got was a bit of that, but a lot more of other. Um, so a bit of that was, yeah, of course, we sailed around. We had some great sails. There's four boats on the flotilla, and it was amazing just to get out on the water and just see boats in action and just feel your own boat in action, which was you know, a first for us, and it was like, wow, amazing. Um, but what I didn't expect and what we got a lot of was kind of one-to-one -one tutoring and mentoring. You know, there's a difference between tutoring and mentoring. So, you know, a, we learned a hell of a lot. But, you know, Nick, with you there, there was a lot of mentoring along the way too. You know, stuff you don't read, learn in a book. Stuff you can't Google. Stuff you can't see in YouTube channels. It's just kind of the stuff you get from a really competent, experienced, relatively friendly sailor. <laughs> no, you're a very friendly sailor. <laughs> Difficult question because confidence and competence, two totally different things. Um, sometimes they go hand in hand, sometimes they are holes apart. Uh, I would say our confidence and competence, certainly confidence was slightly higher um, because I'm a really self confident person, so, but still only about a four out of ten. <laughs> um, competence, no, I mean, we've only been on the water for ten days prior to this, this flotilla, so you know, two out of 10. And that was the most daunting thing about the whole thing was, yeah, we've got our day skippers. Yeah, we've got the paperwork behind us. Yeah, we've got our photo on a, on a piece of paper. It means nothing. Once you get on the water, yeah, you're on your own. You can't whip that piece of paper out, that certificate out and go, right, what does it say? It don't say nothing. You know, you're on your own. So that's the hard, the hard thing to get over, that you're now on your own. Um, so we've got a Hansa 388. Um, and we got that through um, 45 degrees, which was great. The process was so easy. You know, got all of Nick. You know, if we first made contact, you know, by email, and you know, all of a sudden he wants to do Zoom calls, and it's all go go go, and it's that <laughs> Kiwi energy coming out, and it's like right, we're on a Zoom call, and before we know it, we we signed and sealed, and it's like yeah, we, we're getting a boat, and we're going on a flotilla. But yeah, like I said, it's more than just the boat, isn't it? It's more than just the boat. It's uh, it's about the, the boat, the people, and you know. It sounds a bit weird, but I know that Nick kind of handpicks the people that's on his flotillas so they can all get along. They're, and I think that's the reason why that's what the Zoom call is all about. You know, it's kind of like, okay, can these people gel? Because I think there'd be probably nothing worse than being on a flotilla in pretty close quarters with people and you go, oh, God, not him neutral. again. Neutral, into your helm, reverse core release, releasing into the wind. Ready? Okay. On you. John, ready to release? Ready. Reverse, power, power, core release. Release. Start helm. And slow down. How would I rate it now? I would say confidence, yeah. I'd say easily six out of ten. Yeah. But that seven, eight, and nine is massive steps. <laughs> so six out of ten confidence and competence. Well, I've only just spent another seven days on the water, so no, competence is now four out of 10 because, man, you've got to spend a lot of hours on the water before you can go, right, now I'm competent and I can get myself out of some tricky situations. That's all what right. it's all about, how to get out of a tricky situation. When it's 10 knots of wind and it's easy sailing, 18 knots of wind, it's all good. I mean, hey, sailing's easy. It's when it changes, that's when you've got to know what to do. Most difficult maneuver. I'd go with... I'd go with the stern two with lazy lines and a crosswind. Okay. Yeah, because no wind, it's kind of 
you can get yourself there. The minute wind starts to take over and you've got to play with wind and manage the boat with the wind going against it or, or across it and manage the boat going towards the dock and manage the stern lines and manage the marinaras with the lazy lines. It's like, wow, wow. So yeah, I think that's the most difficult maneuver that I've had to do this, this week and one that I'm going to have to do a lot more of. I mean, the fundamental is that to me, it was, it was great when you got on the boat because like, you go, okay, now we're going to do stern two docking with lazy lines and uh, off we go. And it's like, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and, but then it's like, no, you're getting on the boat. You're going to get on the boat with us, talk it through it. And yeah, you know, the one takeaway through the whole thing was don't panic. If you're in a problem, stop, relax, chill, and move your way out of the problem. The minute you get into a problem and you start to try and power your way out of a problem, you're going to power your way into more problems. So that's like a, a, a fundamental takeaway. And it was, really, it was really cool for you to stand there and just explain that through and, and, and show the process step by step. I've talked to you so much about me being a bit of a process-driven person. And when you go through it in a process-driven way, you kind of go, okay, yeah, there's 10 steps. If you follow the 10 steps, you should be okay. And if you're not, just stop. Think where you are, change or bail, one of the two. <laughs> speed determines control, too much speed determines lack of control. So it's that fine balance between just having enough speed that you've got the control of the boat, but it's not getting away from you. Provisioning, provisioning is really important. <laughs> I found the running of the boat more important, not more important, because obviously everything is important, but the provisioning, where things are, where the tank is, how to do everything was way more, I think that's what I was trying to get out of this, was to understand everything else around the boat. The actual boat, Brian can do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, provisioning, making sure that you've got enough water, yeah. making sure you're close enough to go and get more provisions, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So Marina came over at the beginning of the week. We went shopping with her at the fresh market. She came onto the boat to show us how to uh, get ready to sail. So sorted the cupboards out, sorted out all our. Um, uh, where we put all the food, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that from that point of view, that was really good. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. What's the one thing Brian's got to work on? The, 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 one of the things that, that um, Wallace has got to work on <laughs> for this, uh, you know, to be able to take you and, you, and, you and the people sailing, you and the kids sailing. Uh, communicate. Communicating, yep. And sharing jobs and yeah. accepting help from the people around him. Stop being Frank. such a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> we would we'd recommend this photo to anyone who is interested in sailing and wants to get a feel and a flavor of what it's all about because the flotilla is not just about the sailing, it's about the community and, and, and how people live and interact and engage around boats and marinas. And anyone who's got a day skipper or just doesn't have enough confidence to go on their own, they've got to get all the neck at 45 degrees and get on a flotilla because it's the one way you're going to get to know what you need to do and slowly build that confidence. I mean, you may have to go on more than one flotilla. <laughs> no, just like, yeah, you know, I said that yesterday. It's, just, it's been awesome, you know, and it's like, like, you know, and the, the one thing I will add is that when you get into sailing, oh my God, you watch <laughs> thousands of hours of YouTube videos because there are so many YouTube YouTubers out there, you know, claiming the world and sailing the world and they all know everything. Yes, um, it's, it's, so why do we go with 45 degree? It's like, because you could immediately see there's a personal touch to it. It's, it's Nick and Mahina's business and it means a lot to them so they want to make it work and they want to get more people involved in sailing because the more people in the water means that yeah you know, more people get to do what they love which is sailing
how was the sailing today? <laughs> sailing was great this morning, and Shani was like, we're going to turn over, we're going to turn over. I was like, okay, we'll let the sheet out a bit, but not too much. <laughs> I know, I wanted to pull it back in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm going to that shit over. <laughs> That's what I said to Shani. I said, bring it back in. She said, no, we're too close to the water. <laughs>